Happy Columbus Day! Christopher Columbus sailed for Spain. He tried to get funding for the expedition from Portugal. They turned him down. Everybody kept turning him down. And then Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand, after two years of uh, wrangling with them, finally agreed. Half of the money for the expedition came from private investors. Columbus was a businessman. He wasn't really in it for discovery. He was in it for the money. I know this is not going to sit very well with, uh, with all the other Italians in the audience, but hey, listen to me. Huh? Christopher Columbus was not a nice guy. He was the first conquistador. When he got to the New World, he found the gentle natives. He wrote in his log that the natives were so gentle and playing, always playing among themselves. He crucified some of them, chopped off hands, feet. To, you know, to make them bring them all of the gold and other valuables that they had. So he returned to Spain with uh, three ships full of treasure, and he got power and wealth and fame and all of that. Uh, it caught up to him, though, because in 1500, oh, he made four different voyages, four different voyages of discovery and conquest and acquisition. But in 1500, uh, the, the Spanish monarchy double-crossed him, and they arrested him on trumped-up charges, and he lost all the powers and authorities they had granted him. And then his sons went and petitioned the uh, the Spanish court for uh, for redress, and you know, it was a big mess. The, the Columbus family was in litigation until the 1700s. That's what happens when large amounts of money are involved. People get ugly, er. So. That's the story of Christopher Columbus, the first conquistador. Sorry, but that's the way it is. Please don't shoot me. <laughs>